Wisconsin Broadcasters Association Hall of Famer Bob Berry ruled Milwaukee's airwaves in the 60s and 70s. He spoke with countless musicians and celebrities over the years. Bob collected remarkable recordings of these encounters, which he's now sharing with the public. Here's Bob. Rick Derringer is an American singer, guitarist, Grammy Award-winning producer, and entertainer. He's best known as a member of the McCoys, a popular 1960s rock and roll group. He talks about his connection with wrestling, weird Al Yankovic, and songs he wrote for movies. Did he enjoy his time with the McCoys? Rick will answer that and tell us how the McCoys got their first and biggest hit, Hang On Sloopy. By the way, the original title was My Girl Sloopy. Hello? Hello, Rick. Yes. Bob Berry. How you doing? I'm doing fine. You all right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you sure are uh, are into some heavy producing now, aren't you? I'm producing right now the, the Wrestlers and a new artist called Mason Ruffner and uh, Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, yeah. He's big around here. And some other people, too, but that's the, ba- that's the biggies. Rock and roll and wrestling. How did you get that together? It's amazing, huh? <laughs> Blows my mind. Actually, they came to me, and I think it was through my work with Weird Al. Uh, a project like that can go all novelty, all com- comedy, mm-hmm. and uh, the music can be forgotten about sometimes. And my main job is never forget about the music qualities, keep that integrity there. And uh, I think the wrestlers were interested in the same thing. They didn't want to make a record that was just a funny record. They wanted to make a record that was also good music. Uh, you've done some uh, movie soundtracks, too. Right? Any that we might uh-huh. recognize right off uh, hand? Oh, Where the Boys Are. And, well, Bachelor Party. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty big on cable right now. Some songs in there. Did you enjoy working with the McCoys back in the 60s? Sure. Uh, it's almost like a hobby that becomes your job. Uh, it's a it's a great thing. In fact, what music business taught me at that time was that I wanted to keep doing it and I wanted to make that my career. And luckily, knock on wood, I'm still here doing it. What happened to the rest of the McCoys? Did they uh, are they in business in music business too? At some point, uh, each of them, for their own individual reasons, pretty much fell away from the music business. They're all still musicians and stuff, but uh, you got to realize that there's two words there: it's music and business. And some people would prefer to keep music as a personal thing that they own and not get involved in the business part. November 14th, 1965, I emceed a show here in Milwaukee at the arena with Freddie and the Dreamers, the Bull Brummels, and the McCoys. (laughs) You know, the record was only made beginning of September, so that was right after the record came out. I know. You were the hit of the the concert. That's fantastic. Yeah. You know, Hang On Sloopy's just been made the state rock song of Ohio. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? How did that song come about? It was a hit the year before by a group called The Vibrations. And it was number one on the black charts. Um, the, the record company president was the writer. So he said, look, if we get a bunch of guys that look like the Beatles to do this song, it's probably going to be number one. <laughs> so basically, we were those guys that they thought looked enough like the Beatles to do the song. And they were right. It became number one in every country that sells records. Hi, this is Rick Derringer, Remember the McCoys? And you're listening to Bob Berry Remembers. Thank you for listening to Bob Berry's Unearthed Interviews. Be sure to subscribe and rate our podcast on iTunes or wherever you find your podcasts. You can find all the episodes at wisconsinbroadcastingmuseum.org. Check out Bob Berry's book, Rock and Roll Radio Milwaukee. Book sale proceeds support Angels Kids Fund and Donate Life Wisconsin. The preceding program was made possible by a generous contribution from Terry Vaughn.